Hey guys, so I am going through um, our curriculum uh, with videos. I've already done language arts and our nature study, and today I'm gonna focus on what we used for math this year. Um, we chose to use um, the Good and the Beautiful uh, Level K uh, math program, and let me say we loved this math. Sorry, my little girl is crawling all my dog back there. I don't know if you can see her. Um, but anyway, so we loved this math curriculum. Um, what I loved about it was the fact that it used so many manipulatives, like all these little bags um, of bees and vegetables, and um, it used a, a wreck and rack and um, blocks and just very visual. Um, so for teaching mathematics, um, especially for young kids, you need to have that visual to understand what they're actually doing. When you add one block to one block, it makes two blocks. So if they're able to see it, it helps solidify that in their mind a little bit better. So that's what I loved about this program was that it used a lot of hands-on learning. It made learning a lot of fun. It used a lot of games. Um, this is just one of the ones that it used, but it used bingo um, to practice the addition skills. Um, it had a lot of... Um, like pattern building um, and all throughout um, it had like junior engineering cards where it showed you a picture of um, this is the Lion City Hall in France and then you had to build it using your blocks um, or for instance uh, the Parthenon in Greece you had to build it with your blocks um, so it had a lot of just really cool parts that all fit together to help re-solidify what uh, my son was learning um, in his math program so I'll kind of give you a little bit of a look at what it is inside. So this is the part one. There are actually two books to this. So it seems like a lot, but um, we got we got through both, and it was actually the first thing that he completed this year. Now he loved math, um, and I'm, I'm sure you'll see why as I start to flip through it. But this is just the very beginning. Um, but it's teaching growth charts. Um, teaching like growing numbers one two three four five um, there's mazes to do um, he learned a lot about shapes um, with hexagons and triangles and squares and they even they talk about 2d and 3d shapes um, they used a lot of um, a lot of 10 frames to teach number recognition <clears throat> um, he learned um, a lot of the basic additions, so up to 10, um, twos, threes, fours, fives, he learned all of that um, with fact families. Um, it was actually really cute because it literally had a family of people and how you can um, arrange them in different places in order to get your fact family. So I just love that it took um, abstract thoughts for a young child and made them very concrete with using real things and real people um, real manipulatives to help solidify it in the mind. I feel like I'm using the word solidify a lot, so I'm sorry if that's the case. Um, they practiced writing, it used poetry to help them learn how to spell one through 10. Um, let's see here. Oh, it talked about, um, it started fractions and about halves and how two halves make a whole. That's something that was talked about it um, touched on uh, learning how to tell time and how to write time out. <clears throat> Let's see, what else did it talk about? Oh, um, it taught measuring, um, so half and whole inches. Um, there was a ruler, and actually it was cute to start out, it used little inchworm manipulatives that were exactly one inch long and then transitioned into a ruler. Um, so there was that. <clears throat> And throughout, it has little, um, <laughs> dead as out mowing. <laughs> um, it had um, breaks for tests just to kind of check back and see, um, sorry, the lawnmower is really loud, um, to just check their progress to see where they are at as far as um, what they are learning. And oh, I think the thing that I liked the very most about this was that it used words. So um, it used a lot of story problems to teach everything. Um, you know, it talked about um, 
a girl who was making a bead necklace and it was and it was teaching patterns by how she was putting the beads on she was using a round bead then a square bead and then a round bead and then a square bead and so it wasn't just showing a pattern it was actually telling a story about a pattern so I really loved that about it um, he learned how to subtract one and two from numbers one to ten so he learned some subtraction um, I'm sorry he actually just learned subtraction so like here it is like he learned seven minus three seven minus six so they went through addition subtraction measuring um, t taught some fractions and how halves become holes um, learned measuring there was just so much in this that he learned one thing um, that's kind of random but I absolutely loved it was um, they had my calendar here the reason I loved this was because my son thought it was fun to check off. <laughs> Sorry. It was, my son thought it was fun to check off all of the dates as we went through, just so he could see the progression of time. Um, but what I loved is that each month there was a poem. Now we memorized all of the poems throughout the entire school year. Um, I'm actually almost a little bit sad that we're not memorizing them this summer. Maybe we will. Um, but we memorized a ton of poetry this year just because of the math curriculum. There are not many curriculums out there that I know of that incorporate something like that into their curriculum. So I loved that. So, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one thing that I just wanted to mention, um, just kind of giving honest reviews here, is... I feel like my son might have been ready for a little bit more by the end of the year. I think he was getting a little bit bored towards the end because it, it kept repeating things so much that he was kind of ready for a little bit more towards the end of the year. So that was my one thing with this. He loved it. He asked to do math every day. Whenever we started school, that was the first thing he wanted to do and that was the only thing he wanted to do <laughs> for the most part. Um, so he really, really loved this curriculum. And um, so it did a very good job of teaching him. I feel like he really understood everything that he learned because of the way it was taught. Um, like I said, the only negative that I found with this curriculum is that he might have been ready for just a little bit more, a little bit sooner. So anyways, can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> so anyways, that kind of wraps up um, the major curriculums that we used this past year um, for our kindergarten year. So I hope that these reviews were helpful for you.